Hey there, Python programmers. Welcome to day 57 of our 100 days of Python series. Today, we're stepping away from the command line and diving into the world of graphical user interfaces with Tkinter. If you've ever wanted to build a simple desktop application or give your scripts a more user-friendly interface, this is the place to start. Let's get GUI-fied with Python and Tkinter. So, what exactly is Tkinter? Tkinter is Python's standard GUI library, and it provides all the tools you need to create windows, buttons, labels, and more. It's super easy to get started with and perfect for building simple applications. Let's create our first Tkinter window. This will be the foundation of our GUI. This simple script creates a basic window with a title and specified dimensions. The root.main loop keeps the window open and responsive until you close it. Now that we have a window, let's add some widgets. Widgets are the elements like buttons, labels, and entry fields that make your GUI interactive. Kinter makes it easy to place and organize these widgets with different layout managers. Let's add a label, a button, and an entry field to our window. We'll use the pack layout manager to arrange them vertically. Here, we've added a label, an entry field, and a button. When the button is clicked, it triggers a command that prints a message to the console. GUIs are all about interaction. Kinter allows us to handle user input and events with ease. For example, we can capture the text entered in the entry field and display it back to the user. Let's modify our script to capture the text from the entry widget and display it when the button is clicked. Now, when the button is clicked, the text entered by the user in the entry field is displayed on the label. It's that simple to create interactive GUIs with Tkinta. And there you have it, your first steps into GUI programming with Tkinta. From creating windows to handling user input, Tkinta opens up a whole new world of possibilities for your Python projects. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon for more awesome Python content. See you tomorrow for day 58.